Hey, look, it's going backwards. How about that? Hey there, guys. This is Trucker Massey. Am I on the right side of the tracks? Or the wrong side? Anyways, <laughs> today we are going to look at trains. Um, Not necessarily just on Elm Creek, but trains pretty much farm sim in general. Uh, we're going to show you how to use it all the different techniques that you can do to save money and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's uh, get into it, shall we? All right, let's just say that we have a whole bunch of soybeans, which um, we do. I have already put soybeans into the silo here. Here, let me show you guys. So we have some soybeans and the best price here, as you can see here, is Gold Crest Valley, 1800 Per thousand liters, which is nice. And I got my personalized truck here. Anyways, that doesn't matter. The point is, you can't take it to Gold Crest Valley. So you have to use the train. So here we are at this particular set. It's called Grain Silo West. And then here is your rent train deal. We will get to that in just a minute. So we got one over here and we have one over here. Say you are on the farm closer to here. On the west side, well, you're obviously going to use this one because it's like right there. No reason to go all the way across there. It's kind of nice. All right. We got our prices. We know what we need to do. But how do we do it? All right. So you have your full load and you just go on underneath here. Underneath into the into the bay here and you just dump it in here just like you would at any other cell point. And this this train station here. Oh, look, I didn't see this before. Nice. That's hilarious. All right. Anyways, <laughs> point being, you do that, and then what you do is you walk on over here to the rent train area. I could have ran a little bit faster, but anyways, whatever. So turn on our help window so we can see what we got going on here. Oh, there's a train right there. Nice. Let's just Perfect timing, honestly. So let's rent train for a thousand, whatever per hour. It, I have a money uh, changing mod on there. That's why it's a thousand and one twenty nine. It will be just a thousand per hour. But here is the little trick. See how I have the t clock at times one right now. If you had it going faster, you're gonna spend a lot more because it's in game time. So let's actually slow this down just a chooch to point five to save some money. All right, so you go over here in your vehicle. You got to turn it on like any other vehicle here. See, it's going. And you just accelerate. And you'll see the little icons right up here that you just kind of fill up. Now, just like any other big train, you you can't just stop really fast. You have to, like, kind of kind of time it pretty good. I'm just going to go a little bit slow. I'm not worried about the money at this point, but we're just going to show you this stuff. All right, so we stop here, and you see on the top there, we have to select which thing we're going to use. So we go to the first one there, we have to open cover. Boom, cover is opening, and now we can start filling. Grab our soybeans. As you see, I have a 500,000 liters of soybeans right there. Ooh, and that is the max that the silo will hold. So we're going to go ahead and grab all of that, honestly, just for the fun of it. Um, <laughs> now, be careful when you're using this. Uh, you can use the silo as, like, a personal silo, like, single player. But if you are in multiplayer, if you put product in there, so anybody else can grab it from it as well. So you want to watch out for that. I've had that happen to me, actually, a couple times. So anyways, we're going to pull forward a little bit, get the next one here. Go ahead and start filling that. It's going to take a hot minute, so we'll go ahead and get this all filled up. And you can only use the first three cars. Yeah, train cars. Because uh, the, the next one is wood and then a flatbed after that. You really don't want to use other stuff. I mean, I, you could put um, pallets on the flatbed. But that might take a hot minute. I'm not sure it's worth the time that you'll be using train for. <laughs> Anyways, so there is that. And we'll go on to the next one here. We'll have to open that one again. That's what I thought. I thought I wasn't going too crazy. I mean, yeah, I am crazy, but that's not the point. All right. So just things to remember, don't use, uh, don't use a silo over here for storage 
if you're in multiplayer, because somebody might take your product. And in order to get to Gold Crest Valley, you need to train. And that is that. So we only have 300,000 leaders, but let's go ahead and just accelerate through. And basically, we just have to drive this to the end of the track, and it will give us a little indication. And we'll show you that here in a second. All right, here we go. The train will now drive to Gold Crest Valley and return on the other side of the map. Do you want the train to sell the loaded goods in Gold Crest Valley? I mean, that's kind of the point, right? So we'll go ahead and click yes. And as you see top right there, we have $547,000 in harvest income and $90 in vehicle leasing costs. If we had time a little bit longer or if we spent more time, the leasing costs would be more. But that's $1,000 per hour. So it's like prorated essentially. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial on trains and how to use it and how to sell product uh, for a little bit more money and how to save money on the lease of said train. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a like and comment if you will uh, be using any of the tips on this tutorial or not. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future wonderful video by Trucker Massey. Hope you have a great, wonderful day. See you guys later. Bye.